morning welcome back to vlogmas i don't know what day it's gonna be on the screen because i don't know when i'm gonna be uploading this exactly but today we are doing some fun stuff and i thought i would just take you guys along i started the morning with actually editing in bed so today's video is almost done and now i'm gonna go visit louise at work and work there a bit myself and then i will just show you guys what we're doing i'm not gonna tell you so Let's get right into it. Also, how cute does my Color for Standards hat match to my cheap ink pullover? I love it, it's so nice. Look at the color coordination. Heck yeah, that's what we're here for. And speaking of colorful standards, I actually have a little something something for you later. So yeah, let's go now. <laughs> So this is my new hair. I hope you like it. If you don't, I don't care because I like it. So I went to the salon and I just told you like I have hair that's like that and I cut it all off like two months ago and I wanted to have it with lots of layers because I wanted to have it move and be spicy and just not boring and she was like yeah I definitely know what you mean and then she started cutting and she started taking off like a lot and I was like okay that's good nice nice. It was still kind of like the same but like like a little more movement and then I was like can we go a little harder like can we go in all the way like go big or go home and she was like oh okay that's what you want and then she like really started cutting and she took out like that, that razor thing that you like razor your hair with and she just really went crazy and there was actually a lot of hair leaving it was quite crazy but yeah this is what it looks like now I really 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 do like it I absolutely think it's so cool because it's like it's just really fun you know what I mean like I don't I don't want to have boring hair anymore and the only thing that I don't love is like that it's quite short like right here if you know what I mean but it's gonna grow out and it's gonna like accustom to my head anyway but I really love it I actually have not tried putting it in a bun so let me try that I hope I can still do that because like going to university without a bun would suck oh my god <laughs> This is so short. So the bang obviously is still there. I'm gonna have to somehow deal with that and cut that away. But also look how cute the face framing is now. Like, oh my god, I have full of bangs. What is this? Yeah, I kind of dig it though. I think it's really cute. So this, I really like like the face framing that's going on here. And as you can see, like I can still do a ponytail and it looks so cute. Look at this baby ponytail. Looks good to me. I'm really curious to see what my mom is gonna say because she's always like long hair. Now that I have short hair and layers, maybe she's gonna freak, maybe she's gonna love it. I really like it. My friend is gonna come over in a second and we're gonna work on his soccer application video for university or college. So I'm helping him out with that because obviously like I know editing and yeah. Hello guys, welcome back. So Anna has just left and now we are left to unbox this little baby. And I do have a little announcement to make along with this. So Colorful Standards, as you can see, where this packet is from, is a brand that I actually have had stuff from for I think several years. I bought their classic beanie like five years ago and I've loved it ever since. Also some of my friends have some amazing pieces from them. And I now have the honor to be a brand ambassador for colorful standards which i still cannot believe this is like so big to me i just absolutely love them and their team i've been working with them now for like a couple of weeks we 
we've been talking this through and they're just so sweet shout out to Beatrice who I've been talking to and they send me these items so colorful standards in themselves is a sustainable brand what I think is really cool is they don't only focus on neutrals they do have a lot of neutrals in their collection but they also focus on like as you can see in the name colorful standards on colorful standards so they have I think like 40 colors in their collection it's absolutely insane and they're like dyed in a very good way that's not really harmful for the environment I do actually have a code for you guys for you to get 10% off I will have it on the screen and I will also link it down below in the description it's Lina Lucia CS10 so if you want to get 10% off of colorful standards definitely check the link out and I'm so excited for this so let's open up this baby so it's pretty big actually here it says pre-washed made in Portugal highest quality fabrics and 5% donation to charity which is absolutely awesome and if you open this up it just says a big thank you what I think is really funny it says colorful is our favorite color and you can already see like obviously this is kind of like my go-to color is like a greenish bluish gray kind of thing which I absolutely love these are the classic organic sweatpants in steel blue and they feel really nice they feel really heavy and really well made and this is what they look like I will try it on in a second but this is what they look like as I said they are in small and they absolutely adore the color this is like so me in a color these are the sweatpants and obviously I got something matching so I got the oversized crew and this is actually new to their collection because they mostly do like basics and like athleisure stuff so they do like sweatshirts sweatpants t-shirts undergarments socks they also just did sunglasses which I'm really excited to try for the summer but this is their new crew neck which is a bit oversized which I absolutely love this is also in the size S but this is obviously oversized and this looks so fire oh my god I'm so excited to wear this I also got the merino wool crew neck so let's open this up and this is in the color honey beige so it's just like a warm light brown beige color wow this looks amazing with my hair how cute is that okay so let me first maybe try this one on now that I still have my jeans on because I might just never take this off once I put this on so this is what it looks like on and first of all I need to say that the color is so beautiful it's such a nice warm toned beige light brown I absolutely love it and the sizing is perfect oh my lord it feels so nice too and this looks so good I absolutely love it I think it's so nice what do you think Okay, so moving on to the sweatpants, or is it like a sweat outfit? I don't know. Let's try that on. So let's do a little spin. I am never, ever, ever taking this off. Oh my god, this looks so sick. So this is what the color looks like. I really love the gray tone that it has to it. The oversizedness, I feel like, is perfect. It's like really nice, really big, really baggy, but it still looks structured in a way, so I really appreciate that. And these pants are so good. This is a small. I could definitely have gone for an extra small, but I actually like the loose and like really chill look that it has to it. I really adore that. I love this i am never ever taking this off this is the unboxing of colorful standards i would love for you guys to check them out and maybe get your own sweatpants pair or really nice sweatshirt from them i will as i said have the link in the description down below and it's lina lucia with two i cs10 cheers to that part of the video <laughs> we'll see you later <laughs> to a thrift store and I got a couple of nice books and I also got a point and shoot camera. Louise actually has an old Canon AE1 that we just need to get cleaned and then we can shoot with that but I got this one. Like obviously I'm not too sure if it does work but I mean it like loads and then it does that and I don't think if it needs to do anything else so let's maybe try to load this I got some Kodak film here this is the Kodak 235 millimeter film in color what you need to do is you basically need to pull this little latch down it should open up so then it opens like that and you can see this is where you place the film roll in oh Louise is coming home 
And then basically what you do is here's a little slot right there and there and you basically push this part of the film in there and then twirl it so it's like in and then take some pictures so it's like fully wrapped up and then you can take pictures. So let me do that because this is like really annoying to show so let me just quickly do that. Okay, so it's in now. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let me just try. So we're just gonna... Okay, no, we're not gonna do that. It's not working. So let's just take a picture and see what happens. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> I don't know if that works. Yeah, let's see if I just basically trash five euros worth of film or if this camera works and I bought it for 250 and it's all a big win. I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog because as I said, we're just gonna um, drive to my parents' place. I'm just gonna edit tonight and then we're gonna see you guys tomorrow anyway. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hoped you enjoyed. I'm gonna see you on vlogmas day five, I think. Bye. <laughs>